Okay, we're going to have this uh, brain ass named Osama. He's going to supposedly handle me. Okay, this is what I'm waiting for. Come up here and answer the question. Watch how fast I'm going to smoke this idiot because his religion produces stupid idiots. Go ahead. Uh, first of all, you're talking trash. Uh, let's be uh, polite, okay? Otherwise, I'm going to leave. All right, I will need to to, uh, to wait for you to red dummy. So uh, behave, okay? Uh, keep your trash insults to your Bible. Don't bring them on me. All right. Now, keep it on your prophet and his filthy Quran. Come and answer the question I said. Well, unlike you, I just posted a link here with your X-rated pornography in the Bible. Okay, so everybody can read it. So I'm not just giving cheap shot uh, trash talk. I'm actually giving proofs, all right? But anyway, why don't you post... Well, since you don't want to answer the first question, let me bury you in Muhammad's vagina and his breasts. Let's try it again. Now, everyone, understand see what Islam does to a person? I just asked him, is he ready to answer my questions? Let's try it again. Say yes, so you get three minutes to bark, so then I can muzzle you. One more time. Are you ready? Yes or no? And force do me a favor, take a hand. First of all, if you want to debate, it's not going to be on your terms, okay? We're going to debate regularly. Okay, I'm going to give you kind of five to leave, because you're scared, coward, just like your prophet. And let me come back and further humiliate you, because again, you follow the spirit of your prophet, so you're a demon-possessed uh, pervert. Let's deal with Revelation 22 to bury you. He doesn't debate Muhammad so I can bury him and his false prophet. I see that? Right? Like Osama who's been destroyed, this little pervert, filthy dirtbag, in the two debates we've had, he's another snake and a liar and a coward who's going to run. Again, come up. We're going to do a couple more minutes on this topic. Then I'm going to bury you and your prophet in the next debate. Come on. Actually, Muhammad's father was Satan. And uh, Muhammad's uh, mother was a child of Satan. So, yes, we agree. So don't run, because I see, they want to run. Cowards. Osama, you're a coward like your prophet. He was only a man when he had a sword. You filthy, spineless coward. Right? Anyway, um, you, I'm going to give you kind of five to take off, loser. Right? Okay. Dr. Well, I'm going to debate this loser. That other coward left because he didn't want to defend Muhammad because he couldn't. I'm going to bury this guy on my... Okay, first of all, Christian Prince, I'm debating two people here, so please let me finish to the end. Okay? Please. Uh, answering Islam, we have already destroyed your lies there. No, please! Please, please, please! Answer Islam, for God's sake, shut up! <laughs> you see, guys, he is now crying how many dogs are barking here against me. <laughs> I went to the Christian room, and I was a virgin. And all of them, they attacked me. I lost my virginity in the Christian friend's room. nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. But I say to you that everyone who is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. Whoever insults his brother will be liable to the council, and whoever says, You fool, will be liable to the hell of fire. Put away from you crooked speech, 
and put devious talk far from you. Impolite people will keep insulting. In the case of Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. This started the moment he declared that he is a prophet of God. It is recorded in the Quran that he was described as a magician, as a liar, as a sorcerer, as a confabulating poet and that he was possessed. However, this never took away anything from his greatness and respect. The Jews do not differ from these foul-mouthed Christian missionaries. They used to insulting Jesus peace be upon him and his mother by saying she was a whore. She who was the descendant of princes and governors played the harlow with carpenters. God Almighty says, Likewise sis we made for every messenger an enemy evil ones among men and jinns, inspiring each other with flowery discourses by way of deception. If thy Lord had so planned, they would not have done it. So leave them and their inventions alone. So God wanted to make them free to lie to him and his messenger. And he said to his messenger, If thy Lord had so planned, they would not have done it. So leave them and their inventions alone. God threatens to punish those who insult his prophet in the day of resurrection. He knows their conspiracies of manipulating verses. Yet though he gives them freedom, he will make them take the responsible of their deeds on the day of resurrection. God Almighty says, And among his signs in this, Thou seest the earth barren and desolate. But when we send down rain to it, it is stirred to life and yields increase. Truly. He who gives life to men who are dead, for he has power over all things. Those who pervert the truth in our signs are not hidden from us, which is better. He that is cast into the fire, it he that comes safe through, on the day of judgment. Do that ye will. Verily he seeth clearly all that ye do. He asked them to do what they wanted. And it is clear that he is addressing those who manipulate God's religion. Insincere religious leaders are those who earn living by telling lies and attribute them to the Almighty God and his messenger. They own the will of fight against God, but will bear their mistake on the day of resurrection. And the practical evidence is clear before us as they practice their job until now. Well, I am an Arab, <clears throat> and I don't hate any Israeli, and don't hate Israel. I don't have anything to do with the hate of Israel. What I'm trying to say that the media in the West, when they are trying to make that Arab doing that, including Christians Arab, you know, this is very false, this is very stupid. But after the State of Israel established, you know, now the hate point target Israel because now Israel is a huge risk for them. So, you know, for us as a Christians, we should support Israel. Even if you don't believe, you believe in Israel or not. This is not an option. You know, I support... And when the angel said, O Mary, lo, Allah hath chosen thee and made thee pure, and hath preferred thee above all the women of creation. O Mary, be obedient to thy Lord, prostrate thyself, and bow with those who bow in worship. And remember when the angel said, O Mary, lo, Allah giveth thee glad tidings of a word from him, whose name is the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary illustrious in the world and the hereafter, and one of those brought near unto Allah. 
He will speak unto mankind in his cradle and in his manhood, and he is of the righteous. She said, My Lord, how can I have a child when no mortal hath touched me? He said, So it will be. Allah createth what he will. If he decreeth a thing, he saith unto it only, Be, and it is. And he will teach him the scripture and wisdom and the Torah and the gospel.